Why is it so bright? Okay, it's filming. My forehead is so shiny. Okay, honey, we need to think a way to create our own unique opening for each video. No? I'm just saying like, uh, you know, like always have the same kind of um, hello, you know, hello, welcome to my channel. No, it's kind of weird. That's not my style. Hi. Mm, if you're first time to get to know us, um, here's our very first introduce introduction. My name is Amy and that. That one, okay, you can see that one's sitting on the messy so chair, sofa. That's my husband, Jeff. Hello. And let's see, that has a third member. Have to see him. A natural camera shy. This is Kyla, my tripod baby. Yeah, he's only have a three legs. Hey, hey, see, he's a natural camera shy. He just does not want to face the camera. What day, is, what day is it today? Second, January 2nd? Yeah, so. January 2nd, Monday, we got super, well, I pretty much laid down on the bed the entire day. Not really feeling that well, but hopefully it can pick up. I can have a better energy tomorrow. But yes, this is uh, home. I don't know if there was anyone that actually saw my personal vlog channel before, which I barely post on anything. But yeah, so this is the reason why I want to create a separate channel to film any of the behind the scene of our little small business. Clean all the mess that I have. You see the living room, why it's so messy? Because we haven't really been able to reorganize and count our current existing inventories. And we've been not feeling well since after get back from our vacation in Cancun. We just used the holiday time to really rest well, but right now is really the time we have to get back to work. I so just want to show you what it currently look like right now. And this is the IKEA um, organizer shelf that I built. Uh, right now, these ones, they're having some of the candles. Not that much inventory left. I assume in January 15th, we're gonna have another, our first event of uh, 2023. Uh, I'll just uh, clean up some. And I'll just have to continue work tomorrow. Oh, this one, I have to show you. Boobalicious. It's actually, in, it's definitely inspired by the boba tea. So if you smell that, I don't know if you guys like any of the, mm, to eat the tapioca. This is, smells exactly like that. So it's like the brown sugar. I know how to make it. So it's definitely have the brown sugar flavor and some honeys in the back of the tree. This is, uh, the, I think this is the last new scent that I create um, for 2022 release. So this is not going to be a seasonal scent. Um, I'm just going to hold in there to keep on uh, having the song uh, for the people who's loving tobacco. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Tropic Garden is a very nice fruity scent. It's um, It has the citrus tone in there. People are definitely not going to say no to citrus. But this year, this scent is definitely picking up a lot more. But overall, because I have so many other things, um, other scent products, uh, with the other scent product, this one still, this scent is still the best seller. But just for the um, Nyan's candle, um, um, peach is definitely number one in 2022. This scent, actually a lot of people, they're buying this one. It's called Laguna, if you can see. This is one of the not a popular scent. The scent nose has some grapefruit, um, sage, and amber too. So you can actually smell a lot of uh, sage from it. Oops, oops. 
people who is a sage lover, they definitely love this scent. I've been burning this scent at home myself. Um, it's actually quite interesting. It's it's a very it's a very mature scent, I'll say. Um, if you're like a super pure fruity person or floral person, you probably won't understand this one that much. So that's why I was telling people. I know it's not true, but I tell people mature enough, you will get to know this scent. You will understand this scent. I have a, a spot here just for the, just this spot is for some the tin candle. It's actually doing um, holiday season. The tin candle sells in really well. One of the reasons is I, I create a, a trio bundle for people to get, um, get uh, like three different tins of a choice and I put it in a very nice custom made uh, box in there so it's a good gift for holiday anniversary it's gonna be on uh, January 11th so I'm thinking to start a run the um, anniversary sale for maybe two days three days or maybe up to a week I don't know depends on my time schedule mm, but so far January 11th that day i'm gonna actually run an entire website is 20 percent off for everyone no coupon discount code needed so just when you go and buy anything in there everything that you see available i think i'm making uh, including the sale item it's going to be 20 percent off and um just take this chance to stock whatever the scents you like and also don't forget we have the hair clips and stuff so anything you see in there it's gonna be 20 percent off it's one of the very first um custom blend scent that i created just when you think you smell something but it's not quite there yet the guys that were saying um it smells like the guys the women say some sometimes say that too, but right now they just feel it's very sexy scent. So check this out. I'm just um, putting those things back. So glad that I sold out most of them. Then right now I don't have to spend too much time to unpack and put them back to the inventory shelf. Um, then my next step will be. The next step will be counting them and uh, to update my inventory my inventory list usually i'll do those things uh right after the events done but as for 2022 we've been on lots of the event every time i come back i had need to um do update the inventory it takes a lot of time i can try to keep it up at the beginning but then when it's almost like the end of the year, especially November, December, that's not like, okay, I'll wait. i wait until later I update it. Then it never really happened. Then here I go, here we go. Like I'll have like two months of stuff that I try to track it down. Try to be disciplined, it's hard. This is my favorite scent, Amber Timber what I'm doing here is try to open check everything make sure I didn't mess up with the display because the display when you put it outside people touch it open it they might have some dust inside or get like um, get some crease on and also just checking and make sure at the transportation nothing was getting damaged so I like to check that out and before I put them back if anything was dented or like melted, sometimes get melted because I'm using coconut wax, it's easy to get melted. Then I have to fix it. For example, like this one, I believe this is uh, one of the display. So you see the tops, it's, uh, it's slightly melted, but this one it's fine, but some of them, if you're doing summertime when it's really hot, the too hot that even the cooler cannot handle it, then I have to come back to fix it. This is one of the reasons I got a cooler. Um, we figure 
if we can do using any of the cooler to store our candles, then you will, because the cooler, they used to store the ice. And during summertime, we need to go to pop-ups. It's too hot. The candle just can't handle that. It was around the end of last year too. I was thinking, what if I can get some of the coolers to put my candles in? So using the coolers to prevent the heat to melt it down the candles or make it sweat. Then my husband bought two gigantic coolers. It has been very useful. The only downside is once you store the candles in there, it's super heavy. It's very heavy to lift on the car. And sometimes I have to go to some of the events myself, like the area. Now I have to carry it on. Every time, like when we loaded things at home, he said like, yeah, I can help you. I say, no, let me do that myself because when I'm in there, no one's gonna help me. I'm learning a more smart way of taking care of them now. So it's a lot, lot better. Um, but it, but overall, this cooler has been super, uh, super helpful. I just wish I have a better way, but this is the way how I use when I'm using the coconut wax. This is the way how I keep my candles in shape, not get melted easily, because the coconut wax, it's it has the lowest the melting point among all the other wax in there. And most of the people that are using soy wax or soy blend or what they call this soy coconut soy blend. The reason is I think some of the manufacturing they know that um, soy wax tend to have form like so many bubble air bubble gaps in there. And with the bind combine the coconut wax in there, it helps to smooth the surface just like those ones. So you see the unburning one, it's like very smooth top. Once you're burning it, it's still this smooth. So there's no gap in there. Everything looks great. I know a lot of the wax maker, they actually combine the soy and the coconut together to offer that kind of a wax in the market, which is fine, but I just like to stick with uh, coconut. This is the wax we've been tested for so long. I think overall it still performs the best. And it burns a lot of clean, but there's always a pros and cons, right? For the cons, how I'm dealing with it is just to let them stick, stay in the cooler to prevent them sweating. Yeah, that's it. I just store all the candles in there. I guess that's it for the first intro in here to let you guys know what we were doing what our, our small business are. Having this uh, brand new channel open still nervous me as a little bit. You can definitely see I'm very different than the way how I show in our reels stuff. But yeah, I'll try to keep on doing it. Maybe I'll try to post it um, once every week, at least once every week. You might get busy later on, especially during summertime, because we are gonna have a lot of uh, big uh, night markets and shows during the entire summer, which is like a four months. But I'll try to try to keep uh, keep you guys up, and maybe sometimes occasionally have some of the shorts updated. So I just realized that I didn't film a good ending of that video. Here I am filming another ending. That's it for that video. Um, even though we only talk about two type of candles that we carry, we have way more stuff in there. Um, I will show you guys in the next couple of videos. Don't forget January 11th is our anniversary sale, celebrating our two years in small business. Um, starts, sale starts from 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Everything on the website that's available is 20% off. Um, if you like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you would like to follow our journey in here. Now I will see you guys in, in the next video. Bye!